Hey everyone, I'm Nick, and this is Bytes of Architecture. So in this episode of the series, we're going to be looking at how we can write simple RISC-V assembly programs using this RISC-V interpreter. Now, this particular interpreter comes from cs.cornell.edu, and I'll go ahead and put a link down below this video so you can play around with it for yourself. And it's a pretty nice little website here. So um, you've got this kind of main window here where you can write your simple programs. You can step through them um, instruction by instruction or just run the entire program. Below here, you've got a little window that shows you uh, what your previously ex executed instruction was and what the kind of state of your program is. Um, on the right hand side, you have a list of all 32 of your registers with, you know, you can initialize the contents to a particular value um, and you can see or inspect the contents, right? In decimal, hex and binary. Then if we go ahead and scroll down a little further, you can see the supported instructions in this interpreter as well as your memory. So you can store and load things from memory as well. And you can even download the contents of your memory and your registers um, directly from this site. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how we can use this uh, fun little tool uh, to write some very simple programs. So we'll start out with a very simple program, just a single instruction, say an add i instruction, which is add immediate. So we're going to add the contents of a register to some immediate value. So we're going to store results, say in X, the X1 register, and then we're going to add together the contents of the X0 register and our immediate value, which we'll just set as one here. Now, X0 is a bit of a special register. It's our zero register, which basically means that it's always the value zero. So here we're just adding zero plus one, and we're storing that result um, inside of a register X1 here. So we can go ahead and run this program. And you can see we get what we expect. So below, we have this little console here. We can see that we executed our single instruction. And it told us that we have no more instructions to run and that we can reset to reload our code. Now press this blue reset button. Over here in our registers, we can see that X1 now contains our expected value, right? The result of our addition here. Um, so we just have the value of one inside of this register. Okay, so let's go ahead and reset this and let's make a, a little more interesting of a program. So we'll add another add i instruction. This time we'll be setting the contents of x2. And we're going to set the contents to x0 plus 0x2. Then we'll add a normal add instruction. So we're going to add two registers together. So we'll do add. We're going to store the results, say, in x3. And then we'll go ahead and add together our previous two registers that we set, x1 and x2. So we'll put x1 and x2 here. So basically we're setting a value in x1, setting a value in x2, and then adding x1 and x2 together and storing the result in x3. Now let's go ahead and use this yellow button here. So let's step through our instruction line by line. So we'll press this button once and you can see we add, we uh, ran our first add i instruction and our x1 register was set. We'll run, uh, we'll press this button again and you can see we ran our second add i instruction and x2 is now set. And we'll run it a third time, and we see that x3 is now set with the result of adding x1 plus x2. And if we press this again, you know, it just tells us that we have no more instructions to run, and we can reset to reload our code. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and reset this, and let's do one final thing, and let's write a program that stores something out to memory. So let's just go ahead and keep our original program here. Um, and then let's just add one more instruction, which is the store word instruction. So we're just going to store the 32 bits that we have in one of our registers out to someplace in memory. So we'll do a store word. Let's say we want to write out the contents of our X3 register to someplace in memory. And that place in memory will just be um, at a zero offset, say from address zero, right? So X0 again is the zero register, so it just holds the contents of zero. So um, the address that we're storing to is a zero offset from zero. So it's just going to be at address zero. So let's go ahead and run this and we'll just run all of our instructions. And you can see all four executed. We see X1 got set to one, X2 got set to two, X3 got set to three. And then if we go ahead and scroll down to our memory, we see that at our memory address zero here, we have um, what, the value that was in X3 that we stored out to memory with that um, SW store word instruction. And likewise, we could you know, reset this 
and store it someplace else in memory. So we'll do an, an offset of four to the store instruction and we can rerun our program. And we go down here and you can see that at memory address four, we now have that contents of that uh, X3 register. Okay, so that's gonna go ahead and do it for today. I think this is a, a really nice little tool for getting to know assembly level programming, and I'll make sure to link that below the video. But that's gonna go ahead and do it for today. As always, I'm Nick, and I hope you have a nice day.